Philadelphia. Every Roots Picnic starts with me imagining myself in the audience. I just wanted to build a show that I myself would want to watch. There's nothing that I experienced growing up in Philly that kind of had this same sort of energy. There's never been something for Philadelphia, in Philadelphia, by Philadelphia. Philadelphia, what you say? Yeah, La Uzi, ooh, I got hella groupies, ooh, yeah, smoking backwoods, I don't fuck with doobies, yeah. It's just so well curated, and I think people trust the roots and their aesthetic and their taste so much that people come here knowing they're gonna maybe discover something new. Cause I get down and heavy all the time. The Roots legacy has always healed people through their music. Those people that are out here in their outfits and leaving their stress alone for five minutes and they beef alone for five minutes, they're getting healed and cured through our music. It feel good just to be a part of legacy, you know what I'm saying? And you know, to root some legends and for them just to notice us, to hit us up and just want to have us on their stage too. Come on, baby! Come on, baby! Hey, I can't lie, I'm at the Roots picnic right now. I'm actually having fun, man. Usually at festivals, I'm like, all right. But today, it, the vibes are so good that I was like, all right, let me just hang out, man. And I, I, everybody feel good and feel like Swankonia right now. I wanted some raw soul. I wanted Usher as if this were a 70s review. How often do you have musicians who understand the pocket and understand how to really make you feel it more than just play it? I'm in a, a very creative space period and this show provided me the opportunity to, to do something new, to take very classic records and reintroduce them in another way. The process of, of the picnic, I mean, it's ever growing and it's evolutionary and it's morphing. Next year is going to be all about the Roots Picnics all over. Hey, hold on, did they think so good it got you all alone?